What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Tony to focus on Ryan Donato uh, from Dexter, a draft eligible center from Scituate, Massachusetts. His father's a head coach at Harvard. And, uh, Teddy Donato is actually one of the best hockey players, probably is the best hockey player ever to come out of my alma mater. Got the memorial as his number retired, number six. And, um, you know, Ryan got, got some pretty good genes in there, and he's uh, really having a great year with Dexter. Before the season, he had 17 points in nine games with the uh, Cape Cod Whalers U18 team. Last year, he had 60 points in 28 games. It really lit it up in De at Dexter. And uh, the year before that, as a freshman, 36 points in 26 games. Uh, you know, really just an elite all-around offensive player at the prep level. Good hands, sees the ice well, can shoot the puck very well. Uh, you know, can turn the Jets on if he has to. And, uh, you know, I think he's um, a project forward. I think you're going to draft this kid for down the line. I, I believe he's ranked 60th by North by uh, Central Scout. I'll just check that right now. Uh, but, I mean, I, I like his game, bottom line. He's, um, you know, th again, there's a lot of growing to do. But I think if he is given a chance in an organization that will let him take his time to develop, I think he could be an NHL player. I really do. You know, obviously having the NHL above minds is great. And he thinks he's still uncommitted for college. I heard he's on the bubble getting into Harvard. Um, I guess that's, you know, obviously, would, you know, play for his father would be awesome. But I guess BC and BU are in the mix as well. And those are three pretty good hockey programs and three pretty good academic schools as well. If you're going to do some of that book learning, uh, which I, I guess is why they, they, the colleges exist is to, to learn stuff. Who would have dunk it? But, uh, you know, I think he's, he's going to be a great shape wherever he goes. I think he'll be an impact player, maybe not right away, but, um, you know, down the line. Uh, you know, he's, again, coming from a pretty good program with Dexter. Um, and I think the, his upside is very high. And given the fact this isn't the deepest draft, taking this kid in the second round isn't, um, isn't, a, isn't a bad idea because, you know, you take him – you let him develop, and then, you know, three, four, five years from now, you, you pull him out. Because, I mean, he's got another year of prep school, um, and then, you know, obviously four years of college eligibility. Use that eligibility up, play four years, develop, get better every year, and uh, I think you're going to look at a very good um, player. He's six feet and 180 pounds. I think if he can max out at, like, six one, two hundred, 200, I mean, you're, he's in great, you know, you're in great shape uh, in terms of being – Tip pro to one HL size. See, the league is getting bigger and bigger. It's just the way it goes. And, um, you know, having a big guy down the middle like him will um, be, a, be, uh, be beneficial to uh, whatever team drafts him in terms of organizational depth and uh, whatever college team he ends up on. And he's going to be a uh, recruiting battle to watch going forward. I like his game. Great Massachusetts player, great player overall, and a guy that will hear his name within the first three rounds of uh, this June's NHL entry draft. Anyway, that's one episode of the Power Play with CJ on our Ryan Donato from Dexter. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.